Hello everyone, today I will be removing the stock exhaust, the airbox and carburetor of this Predator 224 Max Performance non-hemi. So this is a 13 mil, if you guys can see, 13 mil. Get it onto your socket and break these loose. Oh no, the other one was tighter. Simple and easy. Come on, get off already. Okay, try your best not to damage this gasket. And remember to clean off the excess gasket material off the surface here. But this gasket seems okay, can be reused. All right, next, airbox. I flip this thing around. Let's screw this off from the top here. Let's see what inside of this thing looks like. This is a brand new engine, so I might be reselling these things, these parts. Take off the stock air filter and put it in here. So if you have any small bolts or anything for the air filter, you can just put them in here. You can't go anywhere. Move the air filter. We got those Phillips head. I cannot find my Phillips head screwdriver. Uh, let's try a knife. Although I doubt it. Yep. Ned hat. Got my Phillips head. Now we can remove the rest of this air filter box. As I said, any little screws that you take off, you can throw them in the top of the air filter box. Keep things organized and you don't lose stuff. Okay. Now we just need to remove this clamp right here. Very simple. I wonder if I can use my fingers. Probably not. All right, next, we need to loosen these. These are not the 13. But that's 11 it is. All right, one side. I will be removing the governor as well. So to remove the governor, you can obviously just take off the governor arm and you'll be fine, but I will be taking off the side cover of this engine, going in, removing the governor gear, the governor arm. I also will be removing the oil sensor out of this engine. In the future, this engine will be a built engine, billet connecting rod, billet piston, upgraded valve train, basically the full nine yards. Hang up, pull that off. What are we hung up on now, the carb? There we go. The gasket. This is a gasket, it looks okay, can be reused. Oh yeah, this hole down here as well. Okay, so there is a hose right here, right here that you need to take off the carb. I'm just gonna remove all of this up here because I have a 24 millimeter carb, so there's no need for this anyway. There we go. Finally, stock carburetor off. the new 24 millimeter carburetor that I have for this engine. This thing is gonna look sick. Oh, this thing is gonna rip this. Yeah, this ain't gonna work. We're gonna take these off. If you want to remove these engine studs here, you can get two 10 millimeter bolts, jam them together just like this and turn it. And it will come right out no problem now to retrieve your bolts all you have to do is just loosen them now let me see if i can get this fuel tank off so i can have better access to here so when i open the side of the engine i can remove the governor easier no i'm just rounding off the bolt there we go we got some turning there there we go Beautiful. Finally. Let me see if I can just hold it there. Nope. There we go. So there will be excess left over. So I am about to put on the carburetor. This is the 24 millimeter carb that I got for this Predator 224. I just put on the intake manifold. So all I need to do now is get this clamp here. Simple thing, bro. These use Phillips. So you'll need a Phillips screwdriver. Got mine right here. Loosen these up just a little bit. Not too much. Slide this on. Then take this side of the carburetor and just get it in there real good. Now here's the thing. You don't want it to be leaned over like this. You don't want it to be slanted. You don't. You want it to be as straight as possible. All right. So, have the car 
carb as straight as possible. Tightening down the carb side first. You don't want to do too tight. Then we'll do the intake manifold side. And again, if you want to go ahead, check and ensure that it is straight as possible. That, that shouldn't go anywhere. And then ensure that it is straight as, as straight as possible. Right, everyone. This is what the engine's looking like. I got the exhaust on. This is the carburetor, the 24 millimeter carburetor. Very nice. Tomorrow I will be removing the rest of the governor components. But for today, this is about it. Brand new Predator 224.